I'll never forget when those doctors came in that my wife had told them, tell me first, do not say anything in front of my husband. Mm -hmm. Well, they came in, the surgeon came in, and he gave the pathology report, and he said, I got bad news. He said, you will never walk again. He says, your muscles are dead from the surface of the muscle all the way to the bone. They're necros. They, will, they, are, they are dead, and you'll never walk again. You can't grow that kind you of thing back, and, back, at least naturally. They said the, so what happened? So my wife, she said, I told you not to tell him that. You're all fired. Now get out of here. <laughs> she fired my doctors. <laughs> so I was all upset. Uh, I said, wait a sec. Not only am I not going to walk again, but now you fired my doctor. Now I won't finish medical school. I was in my hardest rotation in medical school. And now I said, I probably won't finish because how am I going to finish now? The hardest rotation when I've been out already for a few weeks. Yeah, yeah. And so my wife and I had a major argument. She stormed out of the room crying and went down the elevator. And as she went down the elevator, she heard that voice on the inside. And that voice says, he shall run and not be weary. Amen. He shall walk and not faint. Amen. And then she immediately pushed that elevator going up. And she came back to my room and she said, she shook her finger at me, finger at me. And she says, God has spoken. I mean, man has spoken this to you, but God says, mm. you shall run and not be weary. Mm. You shall walk and not faint. Mm. Wow. Mm. That's awesome. And you know, I think it's fascinating. Um, Randy, obviously, the enemy knew that God had his hand on you because you have literally impacted the health of hundreds of thousands of believers. Yeah. And I, to me, that's clearly a, a demonic attack on your life to try and take you out You're before right. you could bring such exactly. health and healing mm -hmm. to the body of Christ. Because I firmly believe if I had been in that wheelchair, who would have listened to a doctor in a wheelchair writing books? But what happened a few weeks later, I was in my room and I wasn't back in med school yet, but literally I used to listen to R.W. Shambach. Mm. He says, you don't need to worry. All you need is faith in God. And so he would come on every morning around eight o'clock there in Tulsa and I'd listen to him and wow, he inspired that faith and that belief and that expectancy. And literally I felt the, the you know, the power of God and, and I got up, I started walking. It hurt like crazy. I had hardly any strength. But I started walking, I started pushing myself, and then eventually within a couple of weeks, I was able to walk into the city of faith. And when I walked in, they couldn't believe it. <laughs> some the nurses there. came out, the doctors came out and says, this is absolutely amazing. This is a miracle.